This is archived security footage, nurse. I'd like you to tell me what you see. Grace knew she was in trouble, but wasn't sure why. Nervously, she leaned forward in Dr. Bentley's office to watch the video. I see Harold, she told him. Just Harold. It must have been a while ago. You don't allow the boy into the recreational yard anymore. You disapprove. Keep watching. In the video, the 13-year-old wandered to the edge of the yard. Reaching the high concrete wall, he pulled something from behind his ear. Gray squinted. A crayon? Is that why he's kept confined? Because he drew on the walls? As she spoke, she saw Harold stoop, rise and stoop again, drawing the simplistic outline of a door. Then she gasped in disbelief as he opened the door and stepped outside. Fortunately, we caught up with him, said Bentley, but perhaps now you'll understand why he's not allowed drawing utensils. Doctor, you, you may think I'm a monster, but do you know what happens when a child grows up with the ability to get anything he desires simply by drawing it? A real monster is created. Before we took away his purple crayon, his skills were evolving so fast, and the things he'd begun to imagine... Doctor, please listen. We know you slipped him a crayon, Grace. Thank God it wasn't purple or there'd be hell to pay. Doctor, you have to... But it was too late. The dashed circle that had slowly been appearing around Bentley's neck was completed. And what happened next made Grace shriek in horror. Harold had discovered that red crayons had abilities too.